Gareth Parker. So lots of people want to have their say on the budget. I'd love to hear from you. One double three eight eighty two. Ricky Hendon is the branch secretary of the Public Sector Union. Hello, Ricky. Good morning. What do you think? Well, um, in terms of the the budget itself, uh, I think for the most part, um, the, the the main thing that our members will be thinking today is that they're disappointed that they didn't see a uh, greater allocation towards public sector wages. So the wages policy, 2.5%, can rise to 2.75%. Is that enough? Uh, I think in the current environment where we've got uh, CPI sitting at 7.6% for the for per CPI, um, it's simply not enough. Uh, there's obviously quite a significant gap in the cost of living there. Uh, and uh, public sector unions, including the CPSU, CSA, um, think that there should be more. I put that to the Premier a little bit earlier. So our estimate of the overall inflation rate for this financial year is 4%. Next year, the estimate by Treasury is 2.75%, which is the same estimate as the Victorian Treasury. So our... Do you reckon that's policy, credible, that estimate? And well, that's what Treasury says, you know. Well, they're, they're it's not what people are seeing accurate. in the real world. It's not what the ABS says. Yeah, I, I, I know that, that there is a spike at this point in time. So our wages policy for lower paid public sector workers is over 4%. It's above that. And for um, the higher paid public servants, it's 2.75%, which is roughly similar to the CPI rate predicted in the coming financial year. Ricky, does that wash with you? Uh, it, from, from my point of view, absolutely not. Um, I think one of the things that we tried to get from Treasury yesterday um, when we were in the budget lockup was some greater detail of the underlying assumptions behind their projections, and they really uh, weren't particularly forthcoming or clear. So we're obviously still wanting to understand why government has projected CPI to be what it is, but what we know is what our members are experiencing now, 7.6%, and I must say, I'm concerned about the characterisation of it as a blip. There has been a growing CPI issue in, in Perth, a growing cost of, of living issue in Western Australia for some time. The previous quarter was also high. So uh, I think uh, we would want to examine that further, but our members' experience is that cost of living is increasing now. It isn't, doesn't appear to be going away. Uh, and, um, yeah, you know, the only thing I can say about those projections is that they don't uh, reflect our members' reality. Thank you, Ricky. 